Thanks, Nurse Jenny! Oh, hello there, my pro banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Uranium. I'm Broadry. Last time we made our way here to Amatree Town after going through a really long route. As you guys can see, I found the Pokemon Center here. It's a house in the northwest corner with a red roof. So make sure you stop in there, heal up your Pokemon, and say hi to one of my favorite nurses, Nurse Jenny. She's in there hanging out. Today we're going to continue from here in Amatree Town, and I have done some training like I told you guys. I've caught up Arbashan to level 20. Arbashan also has the XP share, and you guys also told me that it's not pronounced you man, it's pronounced Yao Man. So we're going to call Arbashan Yao Man. I'm just going to be like, yo, let's go ahead and send out Yao. Now we also have ET at level 31, Fox at 36, Dragoon at 33, and Iroh at 34. So our Pokemon are very close to level 35, and I feel like that's going to be a great starting point for us today. So let's start looking around Amatry and see what we can find. Are you a challenger? The gym leader isn't here. In fact, he hasn't returned since he went into the forest to train. That was quite a while ago. Look, you're a strong trainer, aren't you? Tigo's a master fire Pokemon trainer, so he most likely went into the deeper levels of Ant Hell to train. Consider it part of your badge to go fetch him. There's a good kid. A sprint to this bug spray works better than any repel to get them scurrying. We got ourselves some bug spray. And as you guys just heard from this guy, Tico is going to be the gym leader here, but he's lost in the ant hell. Now, I don't even know if it's pronounced ant hell or anthel, but it reminded me of ant hell. There were so many trainers. It was packed with bugs everywhere, and it looks like we are going to be going back in. So here we are in Route 10, and let's enter the ant hill yet again. Get your max repels ready, ladies and gentlemen. Got mine ready to go, and let's step back inside of the ant hell. I need to find my way back through where we are going. And if you guys remember, there are still a couple trainers here for us to battle. I didn't take care of every single one of them. So we're gonna be good to get a little XP around here. We took her down though. The rainforest has a unique odor. It's majestic. I do like the odor of rain. I grew up around rain a lot. In El Salvador, it was always raining and I would always go play in the park. So it's a very fun memory for me. That smell of rain is really, really nice. It can be very, very calming. We got ourselves some Kupu Berries. Yeah, I will gladly take them as we are going deeper and deeper in. Here we go. I remember this area of the ant hill now. We ran straight through this. I do remember there was this one path, though, that did lead to the west, and we never headed that way. Now, we're going to have a battle, so let's go ahead and take this guy on. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all the comments you left for me in the previous video. I was able to teach Energy Ball to S51 like you guys recommended, so I'm keeping track of all that. I'm making sure I remember all the TMs that you guys suggested to me. To the west, you can see that there are some bugs blocking the path. No wonder! I didn't even check this earlier. It was kind of instinct that I headed the other way then. A swarm of bug Pokemon blocks your path. Use the bug spray? I feel so bad, but we have to. We sprayed the bug spray! They scurried away! Looks like you made them angry. Oh no! You guys know what happens when Pokemon get angry. You don't want to make Pokemon angry. We're gonna drop down the hole and we are going deeper in!
just like that, but Sean is evolving, so it is Yao Men's turn. Let's go ahead and evolve our little Bashan. We just added this Pokemon to our team, and it's already getting leveled up and pumped up for the action that is to come on our adventure. So there we have it, guys. Congratulations, our Yao Men evolved into Bashoff. So there we have it. We now have a Bashoff on our team. We're moving on up. Yao Men's at level 23 now, which is pretty good considering we just added it over. Now I'm looking forward to seeing how this Pokemon is going to level up. It's going to be very, very strong. It's an attacker, as you guys can see, and I already have some fighting type moves on it. So we're going to be good to continue forward then. I took a lot of damage from this guy. I did not expect that Bug Trainer to do that much to us. And it looks like we are going to have another battle coming up, so let's keep him going. That wasn't so bad. Let's use another repel. I'm not bumping in anything here, guys. The bug Pokemon are kind of freaking me out. Don't know where they're leading us. This is getting darker in this cave. Let's jump down the hole then. See what we can find. We're going much, much deeper in here. There we go, another hole for us to drop into. How much deeper in are we gonna be going? Hey, you, over here! Who was calling out to us? Whoa! Do you guys see all these bug Pokemon here? Is that Tico? Could you be a, did you come to rescue me? Oh, thank God, see us. They all appeared at once. My Pokemon were overwhelmed. If you hadn't shown up now, I shudder to think what could have happened. Did you hear that? Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this! Untie me, quickly! Ah, oh, that's the spirit! Good to feel the air flowing down there again. Uh, what? You never seen a man in a skirt before! Kids these days, you don't even know about the breeze in between there and... Quick! Let's get out of here before they notice! Oh dear, I think she's... The Seeker Master, the Bugs Queen, she only wakes up once every few years, but when she does, she's always hungry. And angry. Look, I hate to do this since I'm a gym leader and all, but all my Pokemon are fainted, so I won't stand a chance. You have to defeat her and don't even think about trying to catch her. I don't know what the bugs would do, but as a fact, it's impossible anyway. Oh my goodness, ladies and gents. We are going to have to battle the Bug Queen. Do you see her? She's huge. She's going to attack. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Seika Mater. This is the queen of the bugs. So let's go ahead and take her on. She is level 40. That's wild. I have Fox right now at level 37. And lucky for us, I do have some super effective moves, so I'm not too worried about this battle. Seika Mater is really, really crazy. It's getting much stronger right now, so I gotta wrap this battle up. Let's hit an Air Slash, and let's just knock the Seika Mater out of here. It's hanging in there. About 10% HP, and it's healing up every time? How does it heal up? What the fudge? I might have to drop the sunny day here, followed up by a lava plume to finish off this Pokemon. 
because it is healing up every time. Attack order. Didn't do anything to us. I'm wrapping this up. We're going for another Lava Plume, and that is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Seika Mater is out of here. We gained a bunch of XP. Yaoman grew to level 27. Apparently, Seika Mater left a jelly material behind. We got ourselves the Royal Jelly. You did it! You won! Now, uh, let's go before they try and avenge their mother. We're back in Route 10. Words cannot express my gratitude. If you hadn't shown up when you did, I'd, well, uh, I won't mince words. I'd be bug food by now. It's due to your courage and your Pokemon's bravery that you managed to save us both. What is your name? Rodri. You seem like a very potent trainer. I look forward to seeing you in my gym. Thank you, Tico. We look forward to taking on your gym as well. Let's make our way back on over to town then, heal up, and we are going to get ready to take on Tico's Gym. I love the music here in Amitri, it's so peaceful. All the music in Pokemon Uranium has been on point, especially the battle music. I feel like that's the one that always gets me pumped up. Let's go ahead and step in then. And hello, honey, I'm home. Did I not tell you I was going to be coming back here? You already know you had nothing to worry about, Nurse Jenny. Don't even worry about it. Once the rain stops, we'll go out there, you know, we'll go explore. We'll go have a little bit of fun. So now that we are ready, let's make our way back to where that guy was. And he's not here any longer. Oh, would you look at that. We found TM56 Fling. That's a pretty good TM. We are ready to make our way inside of Amitri Gym. The leader is Tico, the Flaming Dancer. Hope you guys are ready to take on our fifth gym. Hello, hello, the gym leader here is Tico. He's a dancer whose blazing steps and swishing skirts will burn themselves into your memory. Yes, he does quite like to wear skirts. They show off his calves quite nicely, don't they? Cool, well, good for Tico. I'm gonna go ahead and start pushing these boulders. We have our Dunsparce ready to go. So let's see what we can do here, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys heard, this is going to be the fire type gym. We should be okay here. I feel like our Pokemon are very strong. We have two fire types. We have Dragoon ready. We got everybody ready. I'm gonna go over here. That's it? We just pushed the boulders? Is that really all it's gonna take here? Let's go ahead and jump into a battle then and see what we can do. I'm all about taking on these Pokemon trainers and I feel like it's gonna be pretty easy. He has a couple bug catchers here and that's what I was expecting, a lot of fire rokes. Now the good thing about the fire rokes is that Fox absolutely crushes these Pokemon. So there is nothing there for us to worry about, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for the air slash and let's do it. The fire oak is down. It's also good that Fox is getting some XP. We're gonna go up to level 38 now. Another fire oak. Sweet. Let's take all the XP we can get. Our Bashoff is catching up in levels very quickly as well. I'll make sure to do training off screen so that we can catch all our Pokemon up. I thought that this area was okay for training, but it wasn't one of the greatest ones. So I'm looking till we find an area that's really going to do it. Now the cool thing about Yaoman is you guys can see that Yaoman keeps getting boosted XP. And that's due to it being a trade Pokemon. So the fact that we got it from a trade is going to make it much easier to train it up. And I'm all about that. Training up these Pokemon can be very, very tough. And that's it. Fire Oak is down. As I said to you guys, these are probably going to be really easy battles. We defeated the Bug Catcher, so we're moving on through. Now, the Bug Catcher hasn't left us many options over here, so I'm gonna have to make my way to the left, and let's go ahead and jump into our next battle of the day. They have a lot of Fire Dancers and Fire Breathers here. This reminds me a lot of a trial in Pokemon Sun, Moon, and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. If you guys remember, you have to go to the top of the volcano, and from there at the top of the volcano, you get to meet the Fire Dancer himself. And he has a challenge trial awaiting you. I think that seems very similar to Tico. I wonder if they drew some inspiration from that. Let's see what we can do. This Pokemon is really cute. I like it a lot. Any fire puppies are awesome. Arcanine is my favorite fire type Pokemon. It's amazing. It's definitely one of my favorite Pokemon in general. You guys have been asking me what my favorite Pokemon is. 
And I have to tell you guys that my favorite Pokemon overall would have to be Turtwig. The whole Turtwig to Torterra line is wonderful. I really like that. It's an offensive Pokemon, but it also has its defensive properties. That is just really, really cool. I like a well-balanced Pokemon. We just got hit really hard by a crit. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going to go for the Air Slash myself, since Belize here is trying to take us out, apparently. We grew level 29 on Yao Min. Another Police is going to be coming out. And that's okay. I'm not too worried if our Pokemon get KO'd. I'll just heal him right up over there. Nurse Jenny's got my back. You guys already know how she is. If we don't get critted here, that should be it. Awesome. One more Air Slash is going to do it. And the Pelige is out of here. So we're moving on through. Yeah, we defeated the Pyromaniac. Now we can go up. Nothing up. What in the fudge? What, am I doing something wrong? What in... Oh, okay, okay. There's another one down here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got this now. I got this now. There we go, ladies and gents. I'm telling you, I'll figure this bad boy out. This can't be that difficult. And let's jump into our next battle. There are a lot of trainers here, but it's good. It's good. We'll get all the XP we can get. Last time I asked you guys, this is a good question too. What was the first roller coaster you ever went on? You guys left me so many roller coaster names that I don't even know. I didn't even know how many roller coasters are actually are around the world. You guys listed so many roller coasters from so many different countries that it made me want to go and ride them. I hope someday I get the chance to go and visit where you guys are, your countries, and check out all these spots and suggestions that you guys always give me. I feel like you're always telling me, like, check out this place here. Oh, I live here. They have this monument or this attraction. And I would love to go and explore that someday. I think it would be really cool. I'm going to switch out of here, though. Let's go ahead and get my boy Dragoon out. The first roller coaster that I went on was back when I was in fifth grade. So I was probably about 10 years old. And in fifth grade, since I lived here in Florida, we had trips. We had like, you know, end of the year trips. And the end of the year trip for our fifth grade graduation, since we were all going to middle school, was to Busch Gardens. Busch Gardens is a big roller coaster theme park. If you guys have ever been to one, there is two of them, I think. The one I went to was in Tampa, Florida, and it's really, really cool. It's a big theme park. There's a lot of roller coasters. So the first time I went there was during fifth grade. We rode the buses over, and I had a friend of mine, Jared, who's a really good friend from my childhood. We're still in contact to this day. He actually just reached out to me a couple months back when I did a podcast, and he told me he listened into it. So continuing on, we were there, and, you know, it was Jared's mom who was our chaperone. And the rest of us were just with Jared, and we were just going through it. So I remember we entered Bush Gardens, and upon entering, okay, I just put that down. That did absolutely nothing, right? Or am I going nuts here? Okay, it opened that one to the right. So we make our way to the right side of the theme park when I first get there. And I've never rode a roller coaster before, so I know you guys were telling me that too, that some of you guys haven't rode a roller coaster before and that's okay i never rode one till fifth grade and the way it happened was a little bit wild so we got there and i saw that there was a ride called the montu it was a big roller coaster based in like the egyptian side of the park my friend jared i'm like yo you've been on roller coasters before right there's no way it'll be that scary dude uh, you know no way right he's like nah man i'm like okay so there are any big drops are there any big drops? Because I really don't want to feel that. My friend Jared's like, you are going to be fine. There are no big drops. You're good, man. I'm like, okay, I'm going to trust him. He's a good friend. I'm going to trust him. So we make our way to the roller coaster. They strap us into like the four-person seats. And it's a roller coaster that dangles from the top. You know what I mean? So you're dangling down. It's not ones that are coming from the top. So anyways, we buckle in. And then all of a sudden, you know, my friend Jared, I know like he was wearing like or he put his shoes to the side or something right because you his shoes were a little bit loose so you can take them off you can put them over there and that's what he did he put his shoes over to the side right and then we're just hanging in there waiting for the roller coaster to go up and i'm like jared don't you think your socks are gonna fly off dude and then immediately he's like holy goodness you're right so then he just like rips his socks off 
and then starts hanging on to him. So he's got one sock on the right hand holding the, the grip, and one sock on the left hand holding the grip. And then, you know, all of a sudden, the roller coaster starts moving. So he didn't have time to do anything like put him in his, you know, in his pants, sit on them, nothing of that sort. So the dude is just holding on to the socks. And then we're just going up this huge, huge, like, uphill. And I literally look at him and I'm like, there's a drop, isn't it? And he's just sitting there holding his socks. And then before we know it, we just hit the drop. And we're just yelling and I'm losing my mind. I'm going crazy. And I'm riding the Montu. And it was one of the greatest experiences of my life. Ever since I've loved roller coasters, my friend Jared pushed me to do it, and I'm really glad he did. I don't know if I would be riding roller coasters now if I hadn't been pushed into it back then in fifth grade. And yes, Jared Socks made it through the ride. He didn't lose them. He had a tight grip, grip, a tight grip on them, luckily. So it was a really, really fun time. I thought it was a good memory. Those memories I have from elementary school are just so valuable to me. I remember all those friends like it was yesterday because if you think about it you spend so much time with those people right that you really become close I feel like when I think of my friends at elementary school it's almost like thinking of brothers and sisters that I haven't seen in a while or that went their own separate ways because we all grew up together you know we all grew up in the same elementary school we played in the same parks we went through the same education system. It's crazy. So, you know, I do miss those guys a lot, uh, the people I grew up with. And that's why I cherish those memories, because I know that you never know, like, if you're going to see them again. You never know how things go. So you just got to remember the moments that you have with them and enjoy it. And I'm just really thankful that I did have some of those moments with my friends growing up. Now, the Fire Oak is doing some work to me, as you guys can see. And that's it. E.T. is down, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm going to bring out Yao Men out. Let's go see what Yao Men can do. Yao Men's at level 31, ladies and gents. And I feel like that's pretty good. I'm going to go for the low kick here on the Fire Oak. That was a crit. It did not do a whole lot. All right. The Fire Spin missed as well. We're moving on up. We're doing work. And I think I'm actually going to have to switch things up here a little bit. I'm going to bring back Fox and just end this here. We're going to heal up before the gym battle as well. So we're good to go regardless of anything, ladies and gentlemen. Also, just want to give you guys a thank you for sharing your special moments with me. I'm really glad to get to read all those comments where you guys tell me what's going on with your life and your experiences. I love listening to others' experiences. I've always been a big fan of stories. And whenever someone tells me a story, I love it. I love listening in and, you know, hearing about it. So it looks like we can't do much here. So I'm just going to go for a couple low kicks until we get knocked out, which is possibly going to happen here. Not too long from now. One more should just about do it. And Yao Man's about to be down. Hey, good effort, Yao Man. You know, you did what you could. You made it up for Fox. I'm sure once Yao Man hits the higher levels, we're going to be doing some work. All right, so let's get Fox out here and let's wrap this battle up, ladies and gentlemen. Fox is about to hit level 39 off of this as well, which is pretty good. And the Fire Oak is down. So there we have it. Good work. Fox is going to grow to level 39. Wow. We defeated the Pyromaniac. Now that we defeated the Pyromaniac, the gym leader is ready for us to battle. So I'm going to heal up and we'll be ready to go. Our Pokemon are all healed up. So let's go ahead and talk to Tico. Hello, Rodri. I cannot thank you enough for bailing me out in the ant hell. That could have been a very unpleasant situation for all of us. I regret that I couldn't be at my full strength then, but now I am ready to accept your challenge. A battle is like a dance. Just as a dancer must be in time with the music, so too must a trainer be synchronized with their Pokemon. You showed great strength in facing down Seika Mater. Now I, Tico, the master dancer, will test your mettle. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Tico. It is time to take on Tico, ladies and gentlemen. Leader Tico is going to send out a Palige and have Dragoon up in front. So let's see what Dragoon can do here, ladies and gentlemen. It is show time. Air Slash is going to be coming out. You already know the Air Slash is going to do a lot of damage. Lucky for me, I hit the Yawn, ladies and gents. 
you already know how it's gonna be around here and i'm gonna start things off with the rollout if we can tank out this air slash we got critted you gotta be kidding me we got critted okay okay then i'm gonna send out fox and we're just gonna go full aggression now there is no stopping this train ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna go crazy now if the police is gonna be sleeping I'm gonna take the Pokemon out before it awakes. So let's go ahead and do this thing. I have a couple air slashes. We got everything ready to go around here, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta do it. Pelige is down, so let's keep it up. Fire is coming out, and this is perfect. I do a lot of damage for the Fire so it should not be too hard here. Let's go for that air slash. Fire is out of here. We're moving on through to the third Pokemon of Tico's. Let's see what it's gonna be. A Pajay. Oh, okay. So this is pretty easy so far. I'm going to switch out to Iroh. Iroh should be able to handle the Pajay really well here. So let's go ahead and do it. Iroh's at level 34. So Fox is our ace here in this battle. Make sure you guys keep that in mind. I'm going to go for the Slash here. And an Air Slash is going to be coming out. We'll have to see how much the Air Slash does. Ooh, wow. That did way more than I ever thought it was going to do, ladies and gents. Holy goodness. I am barely hanging in here. I'm going... Ooh, a Hyper Potion came out. That's good. That's good. I'll take it. I will gladly get that Hyper Potion out of the way now. Rather do that sooner than later. And we also have a couple Hyper Potions ourselves. So we're not looking too bad. I'm going to use one on Iroh here. And let's see what Pajay is going to go for. So Pajay is stacking the air slashes. And that's cool with me. So I feel like we'll be able to take it down. Alright, let's keep this up. The air slash missed? That's what I'm talking about, Iroh. Another hyper potion came out. So that is two of the hyper potions used by Tico already. That's probably all the Hyper Potions, guys. I don't think there's going to be another Hyper Potion coming out here. So let's keep going for the Slash. We're doing some real good work here. I might just be able to take down the Pajay. 1 HP. I'm going for it. Iroh, use the Slash, baby. Pajay survived. Barely, ladies and gentlemen. Barely. The Pajay survived. Heck of a battle there. We're, we're battling. We're doing our thing, ladies and gents. We're out here doing our thing. Now, I don't think I'm going to be faster than the Pajay. But I'm going to take a shot at it. You never know. Here comes a Flame Burst. That's going to KO me. I wanted to get an ET out here and give ET a shot at taking down one of these Pokemon. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. And that's okay. That's okay. So let's get our own Pajay out then. We're level 39. So we're a bit of a monster. Oh, Mother Fudger. I was not even trying to do that right now. Here comes the Air Slash. Totally forgot that that is one of the things that Pajay has got going on. So we're going to go for the Air Slash and the Pajay is out of here. That's Pajay level 36, ladies and gents. So far, so good. Yao Man grew level 32. All right, we got another Pokemon coming out. It's going to be a Kaima Conda. Okay, very interesting Pokemon here. Kaimaconda is level 38. Looks like a Chimera. I'm going to go for the Lava Plume here. I am out of Air Slashes. That does not do much damage. And it looks like the Kaimaconda is going to be going for the Night... Ooh, okay. Let me go ahead and see what we got. I might just have an Ether. That is literally the best thing that could have happened to us. So I'm going to use the Ether on the Air Slash. And we are back in this, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that did a little more than I thought. Now, we do have the roost here. We got the roost off with one HP. That is insane. We were barely hanging in here during this battle. But I'm doing it, man. I'm feeling it, ladies and gents. I hope you guys are feeling it as well. It's been an eventful day here. We just got critted. I'm going for the air slash. Kaimaconda is almost out of here. Now I am going to use a Hyper Potion ourselves. And we're going to use that on Fox. I'm hoping that Fox will be the Pokemon that wraps this battle up for us. So we can just hang in here a little bit longer. I think we'll have this in the bag. 
Another air slash. Let's go for it. Take down the Kaimaconda. And it's out of here. All right. Let's go. We're almost to level 40 as well. Inflagita. What? Let's see how you fare against this final dance move. Inflagita. Oh my goodness. What in the heck is that thing? I did not expect that Pokemon. Definitely not the Pokemon I was expecting here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I do a lot to it, but not even as much as I would have hoped. I need to heal up. We're going to use our last Hyper Potion on Fox here. Extreme Speed is coming, and it is doing about half our health. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. I can't believe this is the one Pokemon that is going to have the Extreme Speed here. I am one hit away from taking it down. So I will use this full restore on Fox. And that should secure the battle here for us, ladies and gentlemen. And what a battle it has been here against Tico. You cannot underestimate Tico. This guy is pretty good. He's definitely got his Pokemon in check in the right order. Fox is going to go for the Air Slash. And that's going to be it. Inflagita is out of here. Fox grew to level 40. Yao Man grew level 33 and is trying to learn Faint Attack. Alright, I see you, Yao Man. I see you doing your thing. We're going to go ahead and forget Beat Up. And we're going to learn Faint Attack. We defeated Leader Tico. Marvelous. Those moves were simply stunning. We got 3,800 for winning. A blazing battle. Maya's is still watering. Here you go. You earned it well. We received the Salsa Badge. That is the fifth out of eight badges here in the Tandor region. We got three more to go. My Salsa Badge will allow the use of Surf outside of battle. It also makes your Pokemon more fabulous. Here, take this TM as well. We got TM50 Overheat. That's a really good TM. That TM contains Overheat. It's an enormous, powerful fire attack that leaves the user a little burned out. Use it wisely. I don't say this just to anyone, but... I really hate this bug-infested joke of a town. Even Vinoville is more technologically advanced than Amitri. My truest wish is to get the hell out of here, especially after nearly getting eaten. I feel you, dude. There's no question about it. The anthill was an absolute mess. We're just glad we got Tico out of there. And we got ourselves our fifth badge. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we'll be continuing from here in Amitri. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button as it really does help the series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Uranium. Goodbye!